So, our host, good friend, and if you guys don't know, all the art on the walls, artist. It's his house. He puts his own art on the wall. Makes sense. That's what I would do. Martha Stabi wrote a piece. I've played this piece before. And Martha's going to talk about this piece. Okay, I didn't do all the art. That's by Walter Robinson. Mostly. That's a collaboration with Paul Kostabi, also a musician, painter. Same with that. But most of the art is by me. And uh, this musical composition is by me. And I was inspired by Debussy. I love that he embraced the whole tone scales. And I included them in this piece. And doing the whole tone part. Please feel free to explore your own dimensions. <laughs> That you don't have to stick to the score there. I get on all of them, don't worry. <laughs> so, but when I, I composed this piece very recently, like three or four months ago, well, Gene, you know, in 2022, and several fr fellow musicians said, oh, it sounds kind of like uh, Billy Strayhorn. And we were talking about Duke Ellington before, right? So Billy Strayhorn <laughs> wrote a lot of music that was performed by Duke Ellington, right? right? Yeah. Yes. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. Now, the title of this piece, inspired by Debussy, who probably inspired Billy Strayhorn, right? So the levels, levels of continuum. The title of this piece came from the great Charles Coleman, who was right there, praying. Yeah, yeah. It was like this. <laughs> he titled it, because he transcribed it for me. Oh, who titled it? Charles? He, Charles Coleman titled this piece, Sanguinity of Struggle. Did you buy that pizza? <laughs> no, but I just got a few pizzas from you. But anyway, sanguinity is a fancy word. It means uh, hope, basically, right? Hope in struggle. Sanguinity of struggle. And I'm just so glad to see all these beautiful faces here, these incredible musicians, and such good friends like Verdiana Patacchini, Gene Luntz, and Charles Coleman, and Mike Cockrell, and Mikey, and it's just wonderful to be able to host these World-class jazz concerts in my house. All right, so can't wait to hear. I can't hear, wait to hear Michael uh, this interpretation. Thank you, Mark. You're the boss. Thank you. Thank you.
sold them out already downstairs. I, I think there might be one or two left downstairs. And this one will be for sale after the gig. You know, it's a, $500. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, I'll sign it. And it's, it's, it's a, it's called On That Note, a memoir of jazz, ticks, and survival, and it's my life. I have Tourette syndrome, obviously jazz. I almost died of cancer about five years ago. So that is the whole story. You know, plus all the people, the great musicians I've been able to tour with, Cannibal Adley, Sonny Rollins, Tommy Lasorda, what did he play? Um, um, first base. Oh, yeah. Ah, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Anyway, nice. A lot of the experiences I had, I grew up in the South in the 50s, you know, some action. So I, anyway, that's what the book is. I'm really proud of it. It was way harder than, than doing an album. I could make 10 albums for what it took me nine years. You should have used AI. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I should have. Anyway, so it's a really good talk. Yeah, I'll let you guys know. About it. And, and Laura Ross, the woman that edited the book, happens to be here tonight. So oh, I think Laura. Who is it? Are you? You know, making making me sound a little smarter than I could possibly ever be. 